Good morning, or whenever you're watching this in the day, um, and welcome to today's reflection. Um, so, you might not know this, but this will be one of our, our probably our last mm -hmm. daily reflection. So, we thought we'd just have a sit down and have a chat about um, how they've gone and where they started and um, where we were going from here. So, um, John, the, the daily reflections were your idea to start off with, as far as I can remember. Which yeah, they, they, they weren't really something that um, that there was a sort of strategic plan about. No. I mean, I can remember we, we were all set, um, we, we were a bit worried, this is going back to March last year, if you can remember that far back, and and suddenly things started to get a bit panicky, you remember that time? You know, everything, yeah, everything when everyone started, worried. oh, this is real! <laughs> yeah, and, and there was talk of things closing down, and, and our attitude was, well, you know, we'll carry on worshipping, whatever, and then suddenly we're told, no, yeah. No more worship. Panic. What are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. And we've had the church open, even though we didn't have services. But then um, I remember thinking, no, 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 we need to do something more than this. And I think it was Nikki I spoke to. Yeah, I don't think I was doing a lot of the online stuff yeah. at the time, so it was probably Nikki you spoke to to see what you could do. Yeah, and I said, well, listen, if I record something, can we put it out? And she said, yeah, we'll do it on Facebook. And I can remember sitting up there on on one of the days over the weekend when the church was open and I thought through one or two things to say and so I just switched, I had my computer, I switched my computer and I just recorded myself while people came into the church to pray. So it was, it was just a bit surreal and that was, I think it lasted about 11 minutes and it was a sort of, it was meant to be a message of encouragement to people who couldn't come to yeah. church. And um, Nikki put it out on Facebook and it sort of, and we, we got, I don't know how many hits we got on it. It was well over a thousand. Um, and so I, I thought, oh, well, we better do this again. <laughs> well, this is not going to be a one-off thing. Not okay. be a one -off thing. Um, and so I asked Jared, I think Jared did the second one on the Wednesday. Um, and then I, I lined up a few other folks who just had to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And we ended up, there was about seven of us. And we worked out a rota so that we managed to do one every day. Mm -hmm. And and so we did. And and people were tuning in and listening. And, and then I think we managed to get it on the website so that people yeah, began to watch it. Yeah, I think we started putting it on the website so that I had a kind of wider reach, more people could do it. So yeah. Facebook, obviously, not everyone has Facebook. So it made more people could watch. And mm. then the numbers went up. Again. They went up. Um, and then people began to think, oh, <laughs> do we have to do this every week? <laughs> no. And so we started to increase the numbers. Yeah. And I, I, if you remember back to that time, we were told that, that it was going to last for about three months. Yeah. And then we thought, it's not going to last for about three months. Yeah, things got worse. <laughs> things got worse. So we started to, I started to ask more and more people, and it, sometimes it was people that, that I knew were good at public speaking, but other times it was people who sort of thought, oh, no, I'm not sure I could do that. And, and we said, oh, give it a try. Um, and the, the time of the reflection gradually shrank, which is a good thing, because yes. people didn't need as much time to watch them. Yeah, they weren't 10 minutes long after a while. <laughs> but I mean, um, I mean, how many people? How many people? So, You've been I doing some through, research. I've gone through our spreadsheet. Um, so, overall, regularly, I think we've had about 30 different people doing it. Mm. Um, some do more often in the month than others. And then we've had some other people that have been like special guests, for example, people who I've interviewed who are not necessarily people who were doing them regularly, like Chris Aitchison, some more reluctantly was interviewed. Um, and I think Norma's had a few special guests, mm -hmm. and um, a few of our young folk have done it with Emily, so they've been kind of all beside other people. But um, yeah, there's been overall altogether about 40 different faces have appeared in our reflections, but kind of 30 regularly. 30, right? That's amazing. <laughs> So we got thirty regular contributors yeah. to reflections. Who would have thought that? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, how many in total have, have we done? I mean, reflections. Yeah. Um, so today's one, um, at the end of May, will be number four hundred and thirty-two. Wow. And we thought it was going to be like three months. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was going to be three months. So, I mean, if if you think back to when it all began, and now looking back on where we've where we've been and come from, it's just astonishing, um, and and you know it's it's something I would never have imagined. 
we've been able to do you know this daily reflection for what for how many times did you say? Four hundred and thirty-two. You did some research about the Bible passages. So I did. Well. I went through and one evening sat and went through all the. It's all in a spreadsheet. I didn't go and watch every thing back one night, but I went through our spreadsheet and we've been keeping track of what passages people are using so that we didn't. People knew what other people were using, so they didn't talk about the same thing or so on. And I, I went through them all, and I've got. I don't know if you can see that from there, but I've written them all down. And um, our favourite book of the Bible seems to be Psalms. Fifty different, or fifty-six different reflections were on the, the book of the Psalms, and um, the book of John was not far behind with about fifty. Yeah, so th- that's what. Altogether, that's over a hundred of them. We're just so that's a so quarter they're, of they're them. The them but they're the favourite ones. Yeah. And there's some others that were quite high up there, like um, Matthew and Acts were quite high up there mm-hmm. in the numbers. But um, yes, I went through one night and just went over them all. And yeah, although saying that, not all of our reflections have been videoed. We've had three written ones. Yeah, well. three written ones. Three written ones. Um, well, those are Kenny's, but they are now on video. Yeah. I've, uh, yeah. made them, so yeah. all of these are now on YouTube. So every single, single one's on YouTube. So they're on two different playlists mm-hmm. because we switched to YouTube in September, um, just so we could reach a wider array of people. Because mm-hmm. watching it on Facebook, you have to um, have Facebook and be uh, have an account on Facebook to watch it. So we switched to YouTube, which meant it could be put in more places and more people could see it um, if they wanted to watch it. Mm-hmm. And from then, we've regularly uploaded on YouTube. But I went back and took all the ones from Facebook and put them on YouTube as well. So they did a completely separate playlist. So if you want to find them, they are in the um, they're in the daily reflection archive rather than just the daily reflections. So that they're all there. That's why I didn't individually count all the reflections either. YouTube tells me how many people how many right, things so are in the playlist. I just had to do a quick bit of addition, not individually count them all. But um, yeah, so they're they're all on uh, YouTube now. But um, yeah. So what else were you going to ask me? What else was I going to ask you? Um, so how do you think we've benefited from the um, reflections as a church since we started them? Uh, we're a year and a bit down the line yeah. from when we started. Yeah. I mean, I'd say, I'd say an, a, quite a few people now are much more confident at doing something like this. Um, there are so many people who just would never have thought of that they could do something like this before. Yeah. Um, so in that sense, individuals in the church have benefited and got a lot more confident in, in articulating their faith. But also, I think our confidence as a church has really grown because that's, that's a lot of people who have discovered gifts that they never knew they had. Yeah. And, and, and the congregation has also got to know a lot of people about it. I mean, one of the... If you actually look at the stats of what are the most popular reflections, it's often the interview. Oh. You know, people people get to know. Well, yeah. Obviously, they see your 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 face, face is there and, 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 and you're on the button, and you're you know yeah. But also, they've got to know people like um, Gary was was one yeah. of this was recently, um, yeah. and we we are hoping to carry those on, aren't we? Yeah. So I'm um, not just people who work for the church of film. We're going to try and speak to some other like, folk who are just members of the church or just volunteer in other ways. Yeah. yeah. And see who they are. Get yeah. to know some more folk. So yeah. that would be good to carry them on. I mean, what, what we're thinking now, it, it, we're, we're going to stop our daily reflections today. But we're still going to have maybe a Sunday reflection. Um, Although, I'll just warn you now, I'm not going to do all the Sunday reflections. I'm going to do them all. You're the one who's done the most reflections, because you've done them weekly. The rest of the weekly ones dropped down. But I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to think, well, who else can help me do that Sunday reflection? Um, and, and so we'll still have a Sunday reflection, uh, which will be available then throughout the week for people to access. Yeah. But also we'll have maybe midweek interview or yeah, something like that. Well. So that, that's what we're thinking for now. And you've also got the, the sermons got during the week as well, so you're not yeah. going to miss out. We're still yeah. going to do things. But, um, yeah, we're just not doing them every day anymore. It's been a lot of hard work. Our volunteers have, well, yeah, I've had to chase people down at late night when they've forgotten um, Andy. Um, <laughs> I sure he won't mind me saying because he knows that he's, Andy. Like, he's, he's the one who I've had to chase down. Um, mm. And it's, it's been a lot of hard work for people. Um, but like mm. you were saying, there have been people who've discovered this gift 
that yeah. they have for, for talking about their faith. And, and you've had a couple of people who've asked if they can do it as well. And yeah. so then, yeah. I think Veronica was one who yeah. came up and said that she wanted to speak about something. Mm. So it's given people the opportunity to do that. And, from the comfort of their own home as well. Yeah. They've not had to go and stand in front of people and do it. That's right. I mean, Veronica did demand to do it, but I, I suggested that she do it, and she said, oh, I'm not sure. And then she felt God was actually leading her. Mm -hmm. um, so she came back. She so, yeah, so, so, yeah, so yeah, I think it's been a good way of, like the, the folk have definitely embraced it. Mm -hmm. And you're often telling me that you speak to people just in the general public. Yeah. You say that they watch them every day. Yeah. Um, I bumped into someone at Morton Hall. She said, oh, I love your reflections, she said. <laughs> so it's, it's been really encouraging all the time. Yeah, it's not just the, the congregation. Yeah. And it's been good to have people like Johnny as well. Yeah, some, some faces that people might recognise yeah. but they don't see it every week yeah. as well. Yeah. It's been really good. Yeah. So how are we going to end, end this conversation now? Um, so, I, well, first of all, we need to say a thank you to all our volunteers. Big thank you. And a, a massive thank, thank you, so you much. because you've worked very hard and yeah. you've put up with emails at strange times mm -hmm. and um, we, we have asked a lot of you, so thank you very much. Um, mm -hmm. And I hope you've enjoyed doing it as much as we've enjoyed watching them. Um, and I thought we could just end in a, a prayer. Prayer of Thanksgiving. Prayer of Thanksgiving yeah. for all these wonderful people. Great and idea. So we pray. Stuff. Dear Lord, we, we thank you that that the church is a body where, which is made up of many parts and when the body works well together everybody's getting involved and everybody's doing what they can and a great illustration of that particularly over this current crisis has been the way people have stepped forward to help out with the daily reflections and so we thank you for everybody who has taken part and we thank you for these many many hundreds of reflections that are out there on YouTube right now and for the fact that they're still accessible and people are still watching them. And we pray that we have learned something through this of your faithfulness to us and how you take what we offer and you use it for your glory. And we pray that the lessons learned and the confidence built will stand us in good stead for the, for the months to come. So thank you again. And we give you, Lord Jesus, all the glory in this. And we offer you this prayer of thanksgiving in your name. Amen.